have this intuition and uh, people around you want to justify why you are doing it and you have no logical answer. <laughs> See, if you just do what you feel is right, and right now, Meher, your intuition is still not very dependable. People start developing these things for everything. When their logic fails, they will think that, you know, you want to do something, you don't know how to do it. You're not sure whether to do it or not do it. Then the simple solution they're taking is, okay, this finger is this, this finger is this, yes, no. Give it to the child, if he holds this, yes, if he holds this, no. This is not intuition. You're la al no, I will come to you, I'm not… I'm going more basic. <laughs> the answer is not just about you, <laughs> I'm just using it too. Now, this is just that your logic has become, you know, incapable, it's collapsed, unable to come to your logical decision. So, you are succumbing to this simple way, if some child holds your hand like this or like this, yes or no. Anyway, when there are two options, fifty percent of the time you could be right, yes? Being fifty percent of the time right is not good enough, isn't it? Yes? Isn't it so? <laughs> I was, uh, you know, uh, some time ago I was visiting a, a homeopathic doctor. There in his clinic they had put up an ad some homeopathic medicine which will work for all kinds of snake bites. You're living in Bombay, prob probably it's not an issue for you. Where I come from, snakes are everywhere on a daily basis. So I looked at this and uh, then I asked him, how come this medicine you're advertising that uh, it works for all kinds of snake bites? Because if you are not already aware of this, snake bites are fundamentally of two kinds. One type of venom attacks your cardiovascular system, another kind of venom attacks your nervous system. They're two completely different kind of chemicals and it works upon your system in a different way. Generally for both you have different types of antidotes, but for everything this particular medicine is supposed to work, how is that possible? So the doctor said, see in India, ninety percent of the Indian snakes are non-poisonous. So ninety percent of the time it works. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not good enough, isn't it? <laughs> it's the remaining ten percent which is crucial, isn't it? So, so intuition, don't get into this thing about you trying to be intuitive. Never try to be intuitive. Logic is dependable, isn't it? There are moments when there is certain clarity which has no logical explanation. At that time it's okay, but you never try to be intuitive. If you try to be intuitive, your logical mind will become deceptive and come to all kinds of stupid decisions. You'll get suddenly guidance, voices from the heaven, you know, all kinds of voices people are hearing. Logic is dependable, go by it at least, you won't make a fool of yourself. There are moments when there is simple clarity for which there is no confusion, it's hundred percent clear, then you go ahead. But now, whether you take a logical decision or an intuitive decision, people around you will always protest if it doesn't agree with them, isn't it so? Isn't it so? It's not because you're intuitive they're protesting. If you take a logical decision also they protest, if you take an intuitive decision also they protest if it's not in line with what they want. So that's a consequence that everybody has to face no matter what kind of decision you take, isn't it? That's something we must learn to handle the social situation around us.